Hi, and welcome back to our video course on Microsoft Word 2010. In this video, I want to show you how to use uh, the tool called the Format Painter. Now, you're familiar at this point with copy and paste, where copy will copy some text and paste will allow you to paste it somewhere else. The Format Painter kind of allows you to do the same thing, only instead of copying actual content, you're going to copy formatting. So let's see how that works. I want to go ahead and I've formatted this paragraph here and you'll see it's slightly different than these other two paragraphs. And I want both these two paragraphs here to take on the formatting of this paragraph. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that entire paragraph and then I'm going to click Format Painter once. When I've clicked Format Painter you're going to see that my uh, cursor changes into the shape of the brush here and I can simply come down and highlight that text and whatever text I highlight with the brush when I release it'll have that formatting applied to it and you'll see the line spacing has changed for these two paragraphs. So that's simply what the Format Painter does. It copies the formatting from one piece of text to another piece of text. Another case that this is really helpful on is when you're working with headings in a longer document. I'm going to go ahead and uh, come here to File and Recent, and I'm going to go ahead and open up a longer document. And you can see here I've got some main headings, but I also have some subheadings. And I'm going to format the subheadings slightly different. I'm going to change their color to blue, maybe kick their font size up just a little bit, and I'm going to change the uh, font to uh, that right there. Now, there were actually three steps there. One was changing the color, another was changing the font, and the third was changing the size. So if you wanted to make all the subheadings in this document look like this, and you haven't used styles, the only thing you can do is use the Format Painter. So again, I've got my text highlighted, and I'm going to click on the Format Painter, and now I've got my special cursor with my paintbrush, and I'm just going to scroll down until I find the next subheading. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight across that. And you'll see the style has been applied and the Format Painter has been turned off. So I can now highlight just like normal. Now, if you have a number of headings that you want to apply that uh, format to, you can choose to keep the Format Painter on. To do that, you go ahead and highlight your text that has the formatting you wish to copy, and then double click where it says Format Painter. When I do that, it's going to make the Format Painter stay on. So I'll go ahead and highlight that. You'll see it's applied, and you'll see I still have the Format Painter cursor. So I can come down and I can keep highlighting. I know it's a main level heading, but there's a subheading. And I can keep doing this until I've got all the different items in the document formatted in the way I want. When I'm ready to stop using the Format Painter, you can either press the Escape key on your keyboard, or just click on Format Painter once here. And you'll see that turns that feature off. A better way to manage um, the way documents look um, especially long documents, is by using uh, styles. So be sure to look at the uh, video on uh, formatting documents with styles.